and she protects her land. There is no question that she has sand. She fights for her rights to the end. Won't let anyone see her bend. PPRN stays in the fight. Supports her reason and her right. Yeah! In your fucking face, fuckwad! Yeah! Peter Pinho has a groove. He wants to see everyone move. He hosts the show with some pizzazz. Might even let you hear some jazz. PPRN off and running. And the shows are off and stunning. I don't like you, and you don't like me. Boy, I'd really like to chew on my crotch right now. Phoenix Tree is a bluesy jam band. They'll rock the house and make you stand. With driving riffs and keen lyrics. They only re don't rely on silly gimmicks. PPR and rockin' tonight. Phoenix Tree does it right. Go throw up. Ricky is here and the twins hang around. Her patience with us will astound. You idiot. She makes beer runs and shoots the show. Facebook Live has us in tow. PPRN works with Ricky. Makes the show. Take it out, but he didn't take it out. That's the story for tonight's show. We are trying to make it grow. Hope you listen all night long. Don't put it off till by this song. Shut up! PPR and lots of fun. Most of the time it's one big pun. You look nice today. All right. <laughs> you go, Bob. I forgot the call was still. Are you still on, Dana? Yeah, Dana, he didn't talk yet. Oh, hello, Dana. So, Dan, uh, hold on one hey second. Guys. We were just in the middle of talking with Canyon. So, how, how long have you been doing it, you said? Is he still on the phone? Yeah, Are we're we talking really to making you him wait oh, this yeah. whole time? He's part of the band. Yeah. He can't make it here, so he's part of the band. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Yeah. Um, how long have I been doing this? Yeah. I wrote my first song in second grade, and I took guitar lessons for three years when I was in third grade. Who's yeah. your targeted audience, though? That's, instead of asking what my genre demographic is actually really big. Like I, I have, like my, it's, it's pretty much it runs the gamut. Like you, a lot of people have really specific demographics, and everything we can tell so far is I have. Yeah. You can't classify what your music is. You can't put a genre. Why don't you to listen it? and decide for yourself? Because I'm right. the worst, the worst at like 
putting myself in a box. Really? I yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I it's saw her at Murphy's uh, Law the other week, and you so were what great. would you say? Oh, you're yeah, great, I forgot were, that's when I saw you. Yeah, I you, did. Were, you were great with drunks. We had, there was a couple of drunks <laughs> yeah. there. I do well with drunks. <laughs> they do, yeah, you but see, <laughs> but you saw Case in Point. Yeah. Like, you would never guess those guys in the back would listen uh, to my music, no. ever, right? You, and think, you think they'd be out stealing your hubcaps, but no, they loved your music. And they were. Uh, but that guy with the Navy cap, he wanted you to sing, I forgot what it was. It was... Uh, uh, it was like a rap song, right? Yeah. yeah. It was a... Uh, Something diddly or something. I don't remember what it was. I don't was. know, but I think I yeah. earned major cred when I started freestyling it, right? Yeah. 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 And I can't even remember what song and it was. And you're one of the few performers <laughs> I've seen who was able to get one of these guys under control. And he he actually behaved while you were performing. He was great. He was yeah. super respectful. Oh, they stopped shooting pool and they all moved down to a table. Yeah. It was like an unbelievable night. <laughs> I'm not saying I can do that every time. I mean, you got to have people that are willing to work with you. But, I mean, that's that's what I say about my demographics. Like, you have tons of people that are you know pretty conservative and you know live in central pennsylvania that really like my music and uh then you have people like you know the other night like guys you know playing pool and enjoying a libation or eight and uh <laughs> you know yeah it's it's and a age wise as well it's like i i have teenagers up to you know old farts like me uh, shut up Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so then let's hear it so we can determine what we're because all right you want me to grab my guitar please sure. do, yes. i'm gonna need a second okay uh, gonna peter what is this off yeah yeah it's, okay. off. it's off we can listen to herbert's music while we're waiting for it could you sound i know what boys like i know what guys want i know what boys like boys like Thanks, Herbert. All right, very good. Nice. You like Herbert, right? Thanks, Bob. Oh, look what a gentleman! Look at Bob. Bob, I get to slip it in, right? Do you open doors too, Bob? (laughs) Oh yeah. You still open doors? Even for old ladies? Really? Yeah. Why not? I love. Isn't a lady a lady no matter what her age, Bob? You sure? Okay. Sure. I was uh, I was talking that night that. We were there together. Uh, this guy kept calling me ma'am. And, Ooh. and then we had a big conversation. You just made me think of it when you said lady. Ooh. And I don't personally have anything against it because I don't feel self-conscious about my age. But like, I Yeah, what is the big deal when people ask age? Or when people ask like a genre or something? Well, the genre thing doesn't bother me. I just don't really know. I honestly don't know how you to don't ask know what about it myself. Is. So right, well, let's hear it. the age thing, I'm, I'm like, I think getting older is better because you couldn't pay me to go back and do my twenties. Like that, <laughs> that was so scary. And I think you know, I'm newly into my thirties, and I'm like, this is this is a little bit better. But I'm looking forward to forties because that's I think really, when, yeah. I mean, life is scary. This shit is hard. It's hard when you're like, how am I going to eat? I next like week? the forties, but I like. We want to move back to Florida, so I'd like to be in Florida before my fifties because I want to be able. No, to but that's when it. everyone goes there. You'll be. You're no, right I was there schedule. when I was thirty. So I was there for ten years when I was thirty. You're a rebel. You're a rebel. You're like I'm not waiting until I'm fifty. No, I'm going now. I only came back over fucking divorce reasons, but otherwise I'd still be there. Oh well. But I definitely don't want to go there when I'm ready to go into a community. I don't want to do community. No, okay. Neither do I. Where are you? I mean, go? I'll be in a community, but it'll be a gated community, not a. Oh. Oh, assisted living. Or, this is the only. It's fifty-five down be. here. Is <laughs> is pretty much a wrap. So, don't forget when you turn fifty-four, your vagina falls. Yeah, well, I don't. Well, Wait, was that for me or for him? For him. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he would never say that to a lady. Oh, okay. Uh, just call me ma'am. Okay, ma'am. You like the word ma'am? <laughs> I per- I actually don't really. I like. Don't move down south then. Do you, how do you feel when you get called ma'am? Yeah. Don't move down south. You'll hate it. Oh no, no, no! I, but everybody's that's a, ma'am. My hackles don't go over up over it, but it's not like thing like, oh, can you just call me ma'am? I'm like, just call me Canyon, and I'll call you. Yeah, by but your down first south name. they'll be like, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, uh, ma'am. But see, that's ma'am. that's, that's they do that with a southern accent too, so they can say no they wrong. They can get away with that. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're probably saying that while they open the door for me, so it's yeah. like, eh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> um, while they're doing kegels. <laughs> Bring the guitar. Up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just play now? Yeah. All right. Please. Are you going to do sound effects all time? No, not for you. <laughs> That's fine if you want to. You can press the cheese was one. I saw that one on there. You like that one? Well, I was kind of I curious. could do it if you want. I didn't know if you thought it would be rude or something. This one's called Day 7. So I lie in my words, set you aflame 
is the truth so hard to swallow when your tongue gets in the way and don't go out to find a new friend someone who strokes my ego and brings it back to life again and oh I know I'm so humble Bridge will burn and this ship will sink. Cause I found out and always to always remember what I did that week. The only time will tell if I can learn to let my wounds heal. I have a penchant for the pain. Oh, the pain is what I crave. So I'm brave. Martyr Saint Christopher. No, I know I'm so in humble loots and feeling for sticks and stones. Oh, and down my weary bones. Sometimes I get the feeling that, that happiness is really something else. Sometimes I'm blinded by the, the shiny lights and seem to lose my. I'm someone else. Ew! Perfect timing. <laughs> Cause this bridge will burn and this ship will sink. You, uh, you, do you want me to just stick it in there? Beautiful. You didn't Beautiful play the song. Cheese Whiz one. <laughs> Where's the Cheese Whiz one? Who was that one? I think it's on the... Stewie? Yep. Far right. <laughs> right. Yep. Uh, no, no. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Keep uh, going. You're you get me my Cheese Whiz, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Portuguese. <laughs> Sounds like you were giving Contra codes. For 30 guys. What's, what's you didn't let you take a break in between, so I couldn't do it. I didn't want to be rude. Oh. So once I heard that you stopped, I was like, all right, I got to do it. Because one of the listeners Perfect was like, Perfect timing, yeah. like I said. One of the listeners was like, do the sound effect. <laughs> Can I tell you who you sound like? Yeah. Yes, please. Let's go around the table because I don't. Right. I want to say Magic Garden, but go ahead. I like to classify bands when I hear them so I can at least sell it to people if I'm promoting it. But um, Perfect. I could take a. I could take a. If Edie, Bur- Edie Brickell played with Joni Mitchell. Wow, you added like a spice to wow, it. Wow, thank yeah. you. It's almost like a garlic with a balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> 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 or maybe like a, a house dressing. A house dressing, yeah. okay. <laughs> with a little extra cheese. Because, w- yeah, you never know what, what's in those. Oh. Right? The house dressings are always like weird. What is a house dressing? It's, it's different in every place. That's it is, right? That's a mystery. Yeah. Like it's whatever they got left over. Has one ever been a French? <laughs> What's a soup du jour? That's a soup of the day. Sounds <laughs> great. I'll have that. It's whatever I'll never forget really one time I actually it. ordered. Soup? What did I say? I said, can I have the eggs any style? Oh, I no, ordered uh, that. And they're like, yeah, like what kind? And I was like, eggs any style? And they're like, <laughs> yeah, you need Wright to pick. That. I don't like said, you uh, and you don't like me. <laughs> he said, I, uh, I went to a restaurant and, the, and it said breakfast any time. So I ordered French toaster in the Renaissance. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> He sounds like a funny guy. Uh, what do you think? What's your name? I'm sorry. Are you yeah, you. Pointing well, at me? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Justin. Justin, yeah. what do you think her, her music sounds like? No pressure or anything. Uh, yeah, I you don't want to piss her like, off like, like the first. Her music, I think it sounds totally different. But Ele- eclectic. eclectic. Thank you. Eclectic? Eclectic, yes. That's a nice word. Yes, moist. It's the music du jour. <laughs> music du jour. So you're like <laughs> a great poupon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's spreadable. 
I'm yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never knew you could mix your own mustard. <laughs>